Good morning. Welcome to my laboratory. This is another demonstration of the Adafruit NeoPixel ring um, controlled by Arduino. And what I've done here is I've uh, put the camera in manual mode and I've closed the iris down to f9.6 at 1 60th of a second to uh, show the saturation of the colors. Unfortunately, at this setting, you can't see anything else uh, except the colors. Even if I turn on the room light, you can't really see what's uh, what's in the box. So I'll show the I'll show the mounting in the box uh, at the end of this video. But uh, well, I just wanted to demonstrate some of the functions. Let me reset it now. And what you're looking at here is the uh, alien clock. We need to reform our time to uh, powers of two, to binary time, rather than using our ancient uh, uh, divide by 12, divide by 60 system. So here we have uh, 16 pixels. The red dot is going around approximately once per second. The green dot is the new minute of 16 seconds and the purple dot then is the new hour of uh, 16 times 16 or 256 seconds and uh, you can see that the clock program is tracking out those minutes and seconds perfectly fine when the purple dot moves all the way around once there is a yellow dot that will come off of the high 16 dot and follow that around. So we actually have four traveling hands uh, and one high noon marker plus the blue background. And I can control the brightness of those pixels by uh, varying the potentiometer setting until the thing is so bright that it washes out the saturation, or I can turn it down to where we have just the moving hands being shown with minimal background. Okay. And then I have another potentiometer on the thing programmed to uh, allow me to change what the display is doing. This is the uh, this is just the demonstration program that comes with the uh, Adafruit NeoPixel Ring uh, Arduino library. Um, this is the strand test program running right now, showing the r rainbow swirlings and some other features of the NeoPixel Ring just by itself. And the subroutines in the strand test program allow you to uh, learn what kinds of commands in C and Arduino language control the ring. So the demonstrations that I'm using are making heavy use of the functions that are programmed into this original uh, strand test demonstration. Uh, let's go to another demo. Let's see, this is back to the clock. Turn the brightness down a little bit. Here is uh, very dim. This is random pixels lighting up with random colors. This is the uh, Christmas tree lights program here. And once again, the brightness is adjustable by a potentiometer. That's pretty bright there. Makes me think of colored candies. And then here we have a pretty dim setting of that routine. And then when we go even dimmer than that, we get this chasing rainbow, and then I have the speed of that rainbow chase adjustable by a potentiometer. And I can go really, really slow fast or we can go back to the 
twinkles. And then yet another program. This one is the LED position indicator. The position of the green, yellow, or red LED corresponds to the position of the potentiometer control. I'm just turning the potentiometer. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. Okay. So this is completely manual control of which dot is on and uh, and then the color ranges are programmed in. So this could be a VU meter or a knob position indicator for some control knob of some other apparatus that you might be using. Any variable voltage can be used to control the display to make it do all kinds of neat things. High volume, spinal tap volume, lower volume, metal volume. And then, let's see, I think I have one more. Yeah. So here now the control potentiometer controls the color of the ring. This is just basic color variation by a, pot, by a pot. And these again are very uh, set to be very dim. This is nowhere near the full brightness that the that the system can make. And I think that's all I have programmed in right now. I personally like the clock display the best, which is down here. Yeah. The clock is what I'm working on right now. I have a 24 pixel ring coming so that it will make a lot more sense with our normal time and uh, our normal 24 hour, 12, 24 hour time displays. And uh, with the incorporation, I just, right now I just have the Arduino timing routine handling the actual seconds duration, but with the addition of a, of a real-time clock chip, um, the clock would maintain actual time and keep very good accuracy, and of course one could make countdown timers or other kinds of time functions using this basic clock face. And the way that I'm controlling the different program segments with a 10 turn potentiometer is by using the while statement. I use a while statement to read an analog potentiometer and then I do say uh, while analog read potentiometer is less than 200 run this program while analog read potentiometer is greater than a certain number run that program and by using separate while segments in the program all keyed to the position of one 10 turn potentiometer I can control 10 or even 15 or 20 different program segments um, within the main loop segment of the Arduino sketch to have the system run all kinds of different programs. All right, thank you for watching. Oh, uh, yes, I wanted to show you the box. So if I go back to auto on the camera, now this is the little box that I built for the thing. So this 10 turn potentiometer with a turn counting knob on there is controlling the program segments and then this potentiometer controls the various settings within the program segment like the speed or the color or the position or things like that. And then this is a reset button uh, for the Arduino. There's uh, power in, there's the Arduino itself, the NeoPixel ring, two pots, the Arduino, a battery, and right now I have it plugged into an external external power supply. And the LEDs are so bright that they wash wash right out.
All right. Thank you for watching.